Good afternoon, church, life group leaders. Hey, this is an awesome day. Uh, doing Psalm 23, the end, five, five through seven, I believe it is, uh, where he talks about uh, the being being at a feast in the presence of his enemies, and and we're going to get into that real quick. But we've been going through this uh, this passage uh, of, of walking through the valley. But first, it starts off with the Good Shepherd as we walk through the valley so i want to show you what the valley looks like from the mountain because remember we're we're ultimately we always seek to be on the mountain with god so ultimately what does that mean and how does it work so here's what the valley looks like and this is close to what a valley is going to look like here in at eldora colorado and that's a snowmobile you hear so that's the valley that's the valley we're almost 10,000 feet up at this mountain. And, and then the mountain that's behind me, and you really can't see it, I'll try to get it over there. That mountain peak over there is at 13,000 feet. So we're really close. Anyway, so let's get to it. So you go through the valley, you go through the dry times, the dry seasons, and here in Colorado, almost every valley is dry. It doesn't look like it's bearing any green thing. Um, it looks desolate, but it has snow in places. It has beauty in places. Uh, but the reality is, is a lot of times we live life trying to climb up this mountain, you know, to uh, reach, reach God. The good thing is, is God didn't didn't make us climb a mountain, right? He came to us. Uh, if you're if you like Hindu and all those other kinds of, of things you have to work to get to God uh, but God did his work to come to us and so the beauty of the mountain sometimes isn't what you think it is at over 10,000 feet high on the mountain it, it actually is is a desert place there is no trees on on the mountain it's barren uh, because the oxygen level gets less and less as you get higher and higher so let's look at the mountain and let's think of the mountain like that. So we go through the valley, it's a struggle, right? And then as the struggle grows, as the struggle grows, as the climbing up the mountain becomes the ultimate goal. Um, there are how, how are you going to climb up the mountain? Well, the, the way that you climb up the mountain is that you read your word. You know Jesus. You know who he is in your life, right? You follow his commands. He says, he says to those who love me, follow my commands. All right, and so I don't beat around the bush about the commandments of God. We're to obey the commandments of God, and that's how we show love to God. So it's it's a hard thing to scale up a mountain. We've been hiking in August, so we've seen the beautiful fields in the valley here in, in Colorado, and, and it's beautiful. The reality is, is that we all come to a dry place. Yesterday we were at a lake that was frozen over, and the coolest thing about it is is that there were trees there, right? There were trees around, and they were drawing from the water from deep, deep roots as they went through this, as, they, as they're bearing fruit in the springtime and getting ready for the harvest, right? So coming up the mountain is a challenge. And this is where you and I both come into play. Not only us, but Jesus Christ. And so as we climb up the mountain, it says in Galatians that we bear one another's burdens. We pray for one another. We seek God with prayers for one another. Like Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6, after he lists out all, all, the, all the armors of the Lord, he says, he says, but pray without ceasing. He says, he says to pray for the saints and to lift each other up and to edify one another. And as the iron sharpens iron, as we hold each other accountable, right? So to reach the top of the mountain, to reach the place of which the splendor, the glory of the Lord is. Remember Moses, right? Up on the mountain and the glory of the Lord was there. But he never showed Moses' Moses face. He only showed him his backside. So that ought to tell you about what the top of the mountain's like, all right? So it's like this. It's kind of like challenges in life. You get, you get pulled up, right? You fall down a little bit trying to scale the mountain, but then you, then you get pulled up. It's like following Jesus. Jesus puts his hands down. Remember, he's the God who came to us. We didn't have to work our way to him. He came to us via the cross, right? So he reaches down his hand and he pulls us up some more and he says, keep following me, keep following me. And you're climbing this mountain and you're, and you're climbing this paths and, and they're, 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 they're rocky, they're steep, they're hard to climb onto, but they're building your, 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 uh, your lungs up, they're building your body up like that, right? And it's spiritually, it's building you up on the inside through trials and tribulations, right? James says, count of pure joy. And so I wanna edify you guys out there 
if you show this to your group awesome uh, but but be be uh, be thinking about what it means to as we slip and as we fall uh, uh, our Savior reaches down and picks us up and lifts us up right to come to him but get this when you get to the top of the mountain when you get to the place where you think you've met his ultimate presence you're having pure joy running like cups that overflow right why because here comes another here comes another uh, snowmobile here's what happens here's what happens the Lord has se seated you as, as the Lord's people in the presence of the enemies. You will feast at tables in the presence of the enemies. Right? And it's almost like a slap in the face to him from God. Right? He's almost like, I put you here, I'm going to seat you, I'm going to give you a feast and a banquet, and your enemies are going to see it. Because I have, you are my people, I have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light, and I'm going to show them what it means. Right? So you have that in your favor. The other thing that you have in your favor is that his his oil you've been anointed you've been anointed by the Holy Spirit and it is that anointing that overflows the cup right and so as you go through your group sessions as you talk about these things talk about the, the good things that, have, that you've seen the Lord's hand and even through the rough times and in the back in the end of it when you've got to that pinnacle to that mountain place where you look back and you're like I see the hand of God in that the awesome part about it is is that he has delivered you up the mountain, right? But guess what? His work, his work was finished at the cross, but his work isn't done in you because he's delivering you from everlasting to everlasting. And what he's doing is he's building you up. So when you get to that place where you think that you've reached the pinnacle of his presence, just understand you haven't got there yet. The pinnacle of his presence is only in glory when we see him face to face. So it's just, it's just a little like carrot dangling, saying, come after me. Jesus is saying, come after me. Reach up, here's my hand, I'm gonna pull you to the next level to get you to the top. But remember where the top is, is where there's actually barrenness. And when you look back from the top, you see the greatness of his kingdom, the valley. The valley of which is bared out through God's people the beauty of the valley. Y'all have a blessed day. Jesus, thank you for this time, Lord, that you've given me to spend in Colorado to see your beauty. Lord, I pray for these uh, life groups, Lord, as you prepare their hearts, Lord. I pray that people are changed in it, Lord, that they would really seek and dig into the hearts, Lord, of each other, to let things be laid bare, sin be laid bare. So it says that sin be laid bare, that we may be healed from that sin, Lord. Uh, things like casting off our burdens that we carry our burdens with one another Lord uh, things that we look back and we talk about in this group session Lord that you really bring to light Lord we just thank you for your glory and your presence Lord give them all growth spiritually and growth numerically in Jesus name Amen y'all have a beautiful beautiful day check that out that's just amazing I'll post some links for you on, in, in the bottom of this. Y'all have a blessed day.